Hello fellow YouTubers, welcome to the Gaming File Basement. We Hello, good people of the internet. We are back. This is the gaming file. This is the gaming file basement. Uh, you can see behind me, there's a lot of games. Um, we did it. We're here. We made it. And I got a crazy pickup video for you guys, as usual. Um, we got trades, uh, Valley Village, thrifting, and uh, some new games, too. So, I think we should jump right in because it's going to be crazy long. If It might have to be a two parter. Um, First off, I'll show you guys what I got at the Value Village, okay? Um, first off, I'm going to show you this. Grand Theft Auto, Liberty City Stories. Um, this was complete, uh, really good condition, came with the poster and everything. Um, I When I played the system, I forgot that this actually came out, it was a later release, so so this was really cool to see, it was, um, I want to get all the Grand Theft Auto games. Um, these two were awesome to see there at the Value Village. This is uh, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic for Xbox. Uh, that's complete. And we have Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, which is also complete. I keep the receipts in there just to know how much I paid for them sometimes. I think it's a good tip. Um, then these are other Value Village finds. Um, this one was a great find. <laughs> uh, if you guys can see that, $2.99. This is a Game Boy Color. It's the uh, see-through purple one, and it does have the back cover. And the screen is actually in great condition, so so this was a really good find. Um, next up we have a Super Nintendo controller for $3.99. Uh, hopefully this works, but you know I'm not gonna let it sit there, Super Nintendo controller. And the, the, the other game I found, which was really cool to see, was uh, Star Wars Empire Strikes Back for uh, the original Game Boy. Uh, they wanted $5 for this, which is a lot, but um, these Capcom Star Wars games, um, I have the first one, but I was actually looking for this one, so really cool to find a game that I'm actually looking for, <laughs> for the collection. Um, these games are Salvation Army games I picked up. Uh, first we have Siren. Uh, you guys can see there is $4.99 for the PlayStation 2. Um, next up we have River King, A Wonderful Journey. Uh, this is a Natsume game. I'm not too familiar with it. I'm not sure uh, what it entails, if it's a lot like the uh, Harvest Moon games or not. But uh, it was mint condition and complete, so I had to pick it up. And that again was five. Um, and this was the better find of those, was uh, Harvest Moon, um, A Wonderful Life. This is the special edition. Um, it was also uh, mint condition complete. Um, this one is about a $25 game, so if you do have this or see it, pick it up. Um, I didn't know that it was. I know the one for a GameCube is similar, but this is a special edition. Um, I guess it says, uh, free play mode, uh, new farming enhancements, yada yada. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's a cool find too. Um, I don't see a lot of stuff at the Salvation Army anymore. Um, so we'll get those out of the way. Um, just a quick quick uh, GameStop pickup I'm going to show you guys. Um, if you're seeing this, go to your GameStop right now and you're into PSP because they just uh, put all PSP games on clearance. They stopped uh, trading them in. So they took every single PSP game is $5 or under and it's $4.50 with your edge card. So um, I pick, these are games I found at two EB games that I didn't have and I thought would be cool to pick up. Uh, the first one is Blaze Blue. This is the Portable Edition. Um, a cool fighting game. It's a lot like Guilty Gear if you've played those games. Uh, this was a great one to see. Uh, Shin Megami uh, Persona 2. This is uh, about a $25 PSP game. Um, this one, Blazing Souls. I'm not quite sure what this game is about. Oh yeah, I picked this up because it's a tactics game. <laughs> um, Jean Dark. 
I played on the PSP, and that is one of the best, um, if not the best, tactics game I've ever played. So, um, so I kind of like to get all the tactics games. There's a lot. There's Ragnarok Tactics, uh, Final Fantasy Tactics, a bunch of them on PSP. So, so they're cool, and they're some of my favorite games to play. So, I got next was uh, Lord of Arcana. Um, this one was kind of a shot in the dark. I'm not sure if it's good or not, but uh, you can't go wrong with five dollars. Um, this is this is Mithrin Wars. Um, I'm pretty sure there's a PS2 uh, Mithrin Wars game, and it's, it looks like another tactics game, but like with mechs and stuff. So that looks cool. Oh, I forgot I got this one. Actually, man, I should have. Uh, I haven't opened this to play this yet, but I wanted to play this. Um, Space Invaders Extreme uh, by Taito, and I'm fairly certain there's a DS version of this as well, but it's basically Space Invaders, but like on crack. So they have crazy uh, music, special effects, uh, cool bosses and stuff like that. So so this one is really cool. I wanted to pick this up, Shooter, P PSP. Uh, next up we have Valhalla Knights 2 uh, for PSP. Uh, Persona Portable 3 for PSP, another Persona game. Um, here's, oh no, this is the game I was thinking of earlier. This is Steambot Chronicles. Uh, this game came out on the PS2. Um, this is another like mech tactic type of game, so this looks kind of cool. And the last one was uh, Rangoku, the Tower of, what is it? The Tower of Purgatory. Um, I was watching a CJR video and apparently um, this, this could be a hidden gem for the system, so I thought I'd pick that up. Five dollars each, um, or four fifty. Sorry, that's PSP. You won't be able to find them anymore. So, so I thought I'd rather pick them up now than later. Um, I'll show you the one current gen game that I did pick up and that I am obsessed with, and it's amazing. If you guys, I don't know if you play current gen or not, but Dark Souls and Dark Souls Two and Demon Souls, all those games are just unreal. Uh, right now, I'm about thirty hours into this game. <laughs> And uh, it's just, it's killing me and I love it. Uh, they're just super hard games. I, I can't even go into this enough. Like, I wish I could do a whole video on this. This was a cool, like, uh, Steelbook edition. It's, it's, it's kind of like three-dimensional. Um, this game is worth every penny. You get your hours worth out of it and the environments and the bosses and the levels and this. It's just... I can't say enough good things about this. Uh, Dark Souls 2, it, when it came out in 2011, it was game of the year for me by far. Um, this one could be game of the year already for uh, 2014. So so definitely pick this up if you can. It's, it's an outrageously good game. Um, next up, okay, now we're getting back to retro. Um, I'm going to try to make this video short. We're, we're almost through it. Um, here's the trades I did, okay? Um, so I traded... Uh, the original Contra for NES and uh, $20 uh, to a guy for a couple games that I didn't have uh, that I did need and want. Um, first up, we have uh, Wolfenstein 3D. Another cool game that's coming out, by the way, is the new Wolfenstein. Uh, this one, the label is perfect, and this is a, a late release, uh, somewhat uncommon game for the system. So it is worth around $30, I'd say. Um, so that was one that I was looking for on the list, so that was cool to get. Now the other two games were Turbo Graphics games. I don't know how I'm finding Turbo Graphics games, but I am. Uh, the first one is Bomberman '93. Uh, he didn't have the case or manual for this, but Bomberman '93 is um, another game that's like around thirty dollars in in value, and it's uh, another late release on uh, Turbo Graphics and uh, the best Bomberman on Turbo Graphics. So that was cool to get. And the other game that I honestly I had not heard nothing of, I have no idea if it's good or not. Um, but he had it, and I had to get it for the cover. Look at this cover. Ballistics. It looks like a Mega Death cover or something. It, it's like super heavy metal. It's it's really cool. Um, obviously, there's no screenshots on uh, Turbo Graphics games, but uh, I don't know. It came with the hue card and the sleeve and everything, so. So those three games I did a trade for, and, and this looks, I, I don't know, it looks awesome. It might not be that good, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. Um, there was a local ad that came up. Uh, someone was looking for Mario Party 6. Um, I messaged the guy I had an extra copy of Mario Party 6. I didn't even own Mario Party 7, so 
I think that was a pretty good trade, Mario Party 6 for 7. Um, and this one was complete and in mint condition, so couldn't complain about that. We just did a straight swap. Um, and next up, my cousin. Uh, my cousin Aaron. Aaron, hello. If you're out there, how's it going? Um, we did a trade too, and uh, he had a game that I have been looking for for a long time. That's Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn uh, for the Nintendo Wii. This game has eluded me for a long time. Um, it did come complete as well, in like perfect condition, so I gotta say, Aaron, thank you so much. Um, Fire Emblem Awakening, uh, I beat it months ago, and honestly, I, I loved that game too. One of the best 3DS games out there, so can't wait to dig my claws into this one. Uh, those are the trades out of the way. Um, I'm gonna show you guys a couple eBay purchases. Um, it's been slow, honestly, collecting. It looks like a lot here, but this is over months. Um, I haven't collected a lot, but what I do is um, I have some doubles. I put some doubles on eBay, got a little bit of PayPal money, and then I, I would purchase a few things here and there, you know, when, when, dry, uh, when the collecting season's dry. So I'm going to show you guys some Super Nintendo games. Uh, these were separate purchases, not together, but uh, they're all games that I needed and wanted. And um, I bought them separately from different people. Um, I got great deals on them as well. I only wait for auctions and and uh, and try to get really good deals on games, you know. But uh, first up, we have Artie Lightfoot. Uh, this is an underrated platformer for the Super Nintendo. It's a high rarity game as well. Um, I paid seventeen dollars for this, uh, US, mind you. Um, it's a Titus game, and Titus doesn't make a lot of very good games, but this was kind of a, a Titus game that was good, so that's why it's kind of sought after and it was a late release game. A uh, cool platformer. Uh, next up we have Terminator 2 Judgment Day, um, an LJN classic. <laughs> Had to pick this one up, I think it was... Uh, I bought it from um, this company, JJ Games, and it was literally $5 shipped and everything in so I was kind of like yeah, five dollars for a Super Nintendo game I don't have sure um, this was cool to get uh, Street Fighter Alpha 2 I've been bugging a friend of mine who has a copy of this if he wants to trade or sell and he's not budging so I had to uh, go ahead and make the purchase I got a great deal on this again this was uh, I think it was around the same as Artie Lightfoot it was 17 or 18 dollars um, but the guy was local um, like, I went on eBay, bought it from him, but he actually was uh, from the city. So I, I ended up just getting free pickup, basically. I met him close to my house, and he lived close to my house, which was really cool. Um, so Street Fighter Alpha 2, another uncommon game I needed. Uh, next up, we have Robocop vs. Terminator. Uh, one that's eluded me for a while, and... Um, uh, I geez, I love the first RoboCop, the movie, and I love Terminator 2. And uh, to have them both in a game, I mean, I don't know why I haven't got this earlier, but I've never found a copy that was less than $20 for some reason. I know it's not a crazy expensive game, but it's one that I've been looking for for a long time. But, but it's really cool to get Robo Terminator, <laughs> finally. Uh, next up we have Wolf Child, um, another underrated platformer for the Super Nintendo. Um, it's another one that I've got on a list of kind of hidden gems and uh, games that I really want to play and try. Um, basically, it's a bit like Altered Beast from what I understand. You can transform into like a, a crazy wolf man and, uh, and it's supposed to be fairly good. So, so really cool to get this one. Uh, the last one wasn't from eBay. But uh, it's in the Super Nintendo pile. This was, um, I bought, this is only a one game that I bought from, uh, from the flea market. Um, I'll show you guys quickly, sorry, I'll show you quickly what I traded to get this. Um, we're moving around here. <laughs> I'm a little unorganized. I bought an N64 with uh, four games. It was uh, $50. And I'll show you the games now. Super Mario 64. Uh, GoldenEye 007, uh, Banjo Kazooie, and the game that I really wanted for my collection was uh, Banjo Tooie. I did not own Banjo Tooie, um, so this was really cool to get Banjo Tooie. Um, I got the N64, and I ended up trading the system. had uh, had a, two controllers, 
um, I traded the system to um, the flea market, the guy at the flea market. And I traded it for one game, and that was this game for Super Nintendo. Um, proper segue here. Uh, Fire Striker. Now, I'm, I'm knocking off the rare games that I'm missing for Super Nintendo. You've seen a couple of them already. Um, Fire Striker is a very unique, interesting game. If you can look at footage on YouTube, um, it's kind of like a pinball RPG... Like, pinball medieval RPG action game. Very, very strange. But really cool. So, um, if you can find a copy of this for, for a decent price, I suggest picking it up. Um, and this is the final eBay purchase. Sorry, we went to a little, uh, went on a side mission there. Um, this was an N60, another N64 game, too. Um, Snowboard Kids 2. Um, I got this for $30 with free shipping. Um, it was actually a guy uh, from Quebec in the country who uh, shipped it for me to me for free, so that's really cool. Um, I don't know if you guys can see, but there's a, a bit of a label on there. I think that's why he sold it so cheap, but it, it doesn't look like... I know the N64 labels are... Uh, they're not as durable as, as uh, other labels <laughs> like Super Nintendo, but... Um, but I'm hoping to take this off real carefully. Um, Snowboard Kids 2, another hard to find game, late release. Like a lot of the games you'll see today. Um, really awesome, I love Snowboard Kids 1. It's a really underrated game. Not just because I'm Canadian, but <laughs> because it's a great game. Um, and the final pickup I'm gonna show you. I got an amazing gem, an amazing deal, and I met a really cool guy, his name's Dylan. Um, he gave me an awesome price and an awesome deal. And I will do business with them again in the future. Um, I'm just waiting to get some more money to do so. But uh, he gave me a ridiculous deal. $100 for three games. And when you see these games, um, I think you'll see it was a good deal. Uh, without further ado, I don't want to keep you hanging here. Uh, first off, we have Killer7 for the Nintendo GameCube. Um, I have Killer7 for PS2, but... I honestly always looked at it and I just, I wanted the one for GameCube because it was originally released for this system. Um, I love two disc um, GameCube games as well. This is a Suda51 um, trip, as he calls it. It's, uh, his games are just out of this world. No More Heroes, Shadows of the Damned, like, uh, those games are just great. But Killer7, uh, really looking for this for a long time and I could never find it for a decent price so I gotta thank Dylan so much for this is the first game he gave me um, second game he hooked me up with Xeno Gears Xeno Gears for the original PlayStation another one that I passed maybe three times like in 96 like 2000 and and somewhat recently I, I, I've seen this game and just passed it I've always kicked myself in doing so. Um, these games were from his own personal collection. He's looking to buy a ring for his uh, girlfriend, which is a great cause. <laughs> I don't mind spending money when someone does that. So um, really cool to see. Uh, complete. Everything was perfect. Xeno Gears. And the last game. This is what blows it out of the water. Probably the most expensive game for uh, PlayStation 2. That is Rule of Rose. Um, this game is skyrocketing in value. Um, it's an Atlas survival horror game. And honestly, I haven't put it in yet because I got it recently. But um, it just... It's one of those games that is so desirable and so cool to have. Like, the survival horror games are always good to pick up. Um, like, I picked up Siren, you saw it earlier. But uh, Rule of Rose, complete and just like almost immaculate condition um he must have bought this new or used like it just it must have had two owners but really really cool um he was telling me it's a lot like a psychological thriller uh not a lot of cheap scares but um it's very twisted and i like that <laughs> that's my kind of style uh so rule of rose those three games he gave me for a hundred dollars like man dylan hooked me up so guys, thank you so much for sticking to the end of this video, uh, checking out the new game room. Uh, we're here, we're here to stay, I'm in the basement now. Uh, new games coming, new pickups. I got some more crazy stuff too that I'm just trying to work out another pickup video for you guys. Um, 
Thank you to all the new subscribers and everybody else out there in the gaming community. This is The Gaming File. We're back, baby! <laughs> hey, thanks, guys. Peace out.